Well, it just happens to be Saturday afternoon, August the 31st. The end of the month. 2013. The end of the summer. The end of, yeah, almost the end of summer. And almost, um, almost, we're closing in on autumn. And, and, and you know, this is it for, there's only, August 2013 only comes once in, in a, in, in a lifetime, anybody's lifetime. Right. There's only one August 2013. Well, of course. <laughs> what the, what is this, some sort of uh, breakthrough? No, I'm reading too deeply into it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a breakthrough. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, happy Labor Day weekend 2013. This is Labor Day weekend, the unofficial ending of summer. You know, because the beaches, oh, the wonderful, uh, 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 the rip-off Jersey Shore beaches will close and there won't be any more lifeguards. Uh, and there won't be anybody collecting cover charge to get on the beach. Stronger than the storm. Change the song, yeah. Uh, we're not going to be stronger than rain on Monday. And that's going to put a crimp in the shore. It's going to put not only a crimp in the shore, and not only a crimp on everybody's planned barbecue, but a crimp on yours truly, me, because God willing, and a crimp if he can make it, I'm supposed to do uh, 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 two, well, we're going to do, I have planned uh, two long um, videos, and, and one of them is a fitness video outside, uh, because uh, Paul Terrace uh, Walker Winsky from Perth, Australia, one of the uh, foremost authorities in the world on circular training, will be in New York this Sunday, uh, September the 1st, and we're, he's supposed to come down, let's say, Monday or Tuesday. Let's just say he comes down Monday, but we have a 40% chance of rain, you know, and... I think uh, on Monday it's more than that. But, but we are going to go live if you, if you can make it, we're going to go live indoors uh, through Mega Life 21 live on a li live stream. So that's no problem. We're indoors to discuss uh, circular training, past, present, future. Uh, so it should be. I'm very excited about it. I want to thank the Renaissance Man Can Create and the uh, famous DJ Muggs, Muggsy, uh -huh. DJ Muggsy. Uh, who played many of the uh, legendary clubs back in the day. I want to thank them for a, a very invigorating evening at the uh, St. Joseph's um, Italian Festival, the annual Labor Day weekend festival. The DJ was excellent and uh, the place was really hopping. Unfortunately, YouTube was busting my balls about one of the song tracks. They muted it. First they muted the whole thing and then I had to remove one of the song tracks because it is fucking copyright infringement bullshit with all their blood-sucking lawyers that they have. I mean, the music is not mine. It's the DJ that was playing the tracks. I have nothing to do with this DJ company or the management of the festival. So, you know, I just happened to be running the camera and then, you know, of course I uploaded it, but it's not me that's playing the music, so I don't know. They're crazy about that stuff. It's it's gotten really out of hand. <laughs> the whole copyright infringement thing. Let me, besides entertain you and inform you, let me uh, for this um, Labor Day weekend, 2013. Let me formally pipe aboard my co-host and mentor with my authentic bosun's whistle. Welcome aboard our progressive liberal starship, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman. How are you feeling this this Labor Day, I almost said Memorial Day weekend, this Labor Day weekend 2013? Well, Memorial Day was the beginning, the Labor Day is the end. That's true, that's when the beaches, that's when the rip-off Jersey Shore opens up, mm -hmm. and 
Labor Day is when the ripoff Jersey Shore closes. But of course, there are all you um, jabronis from this part of the country. Go down there, fight traffic, suck the carbon monoxide, uh, pay the cover charts to go on the beach, pay to park, uh, pay to change into your bathing suit if you're stu if you're that stupid, and pay over five bucks for a hot dog or whatever the hell it cost on the boardwalk. Uh, Vinny, uh, Iron Man Vinny Blake did a video about what it cost him at City Field to go to a Met game, New York Mets game. They totally raped him over the coals. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it was. It's it's horrible, you know. I mean, the the obscene salaries of um, these professional athletes because of their agents and the owners are are just willing to pay it. I mean, nobody's holding a shotgun to their heads. They pay it. And then the owners turn around and they take it out on the, on the fans with astronomically expensive tickets. But of course, Americans never boycott. They don't know the meaning of the word for boycott. All right, let me begin with my little monologue thingy. Okay. Dr. Bill. What? Hi. Hi. What? Germany oh. produces twice as many cars as the United States ah. wh while paying their workers twice as much. Who buys all those cars? I don't know, but it, it's interesting how their productivity is so so much better than the U.S. and they pay them twice as much. And isn't it isn't it funny how this uh, these are deliberate choices? What's a deliberate choice? To do that kind of stuff. In America, we don't do it. We let the lobbyists, the big boys, and the big corporations make our laws for us. Yeah. We don't do it. I, I guess the... Um, we could. I guess the European Union politicians do not have their hand that far out to be greased like the American politicians. They will one day, though. Because... It, because everybody is becoming... Americanized and a whore. A whore. In other words, everyone has a price for the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Uh -huh. You know, that was back in the 80s, but you know, the, 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 there's a lot of wisdom to that little slogan of his. Of course. Everyone has a price. Sooner or later, and when you do, the million dollar man is going to get you. Exactly. In such a culture, there is no such thing as character. No, they buy... When they, you are up for sale, just give me the price. There's no character. Isn't that like when the uh, the hooker tells the, uh, the man, uh, you know, uh, Oh, you're so very handsome. Uh, 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 oh, it'll cost a hundred dollars. Oh, you don't have any money. You're not so handsome anymore. Uh. So, but you said America buys its lovers. Always did. Foreign policy. Foreign yeah. policy. Well, okay. Um, here goes next number two. While everyone was talking about Miley Cyrus's ass, ah! the Fukushima plant is leaking 300 tons of contaminated uh, water into the sea every day. And it's in the fishies. And, and They're finding the fishies over what, by California. And what's in the sea besides sea life? Currents. And the currents take the water all over the world. Uh -huh. But it's already in the fish. It's been there for over a year or whatever. 300 tons per day of, uh, I, I assume, radioactive contaminants from Fukushima and because the Japanese government finally came clean and admitted that this is happening unlike the American government that denies that well, anything know, happened I think we I think the uh, green people got either four or five of our nuclear plants closed down There's still about 99 going good to them let me salute the, the green movement in the United States and throughout the world. I salute you with my lucky 
shillelagh. A lucky charm, lucky charm. Blackthorn shillelagh. Okay, now, number three. The world spent two trillion dollars on war in 2012. Huh. One twentieth of that two trillion dollars could have eradicated poverty. In America. Or in the world. Not in the world. It would never happen. Well, but certainly in America, about 135 billion. Okay, would do the job. Once upon a time, it was like something about 25 billion could have done it. But we missed about that. Yeah, the chalet you know, is on the floor I again. Think, I think the chalet spirit is active today because that's the second time it hit the floor mysteriously. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, uh, well, I put up on well, Facebook. Well, well, if we didn't have the two wasteful wars of um, and the two tax cut by the, cut, two, the two war profiteering wars of of Iraq and Afghanistan, the, the I bet the budget would have been already balanced and paid off. It was under Clinton. Under Clinton. Clinton gave it to George W. Bush. No deficit. Mr. Cheney went around and saying Reagan proved that deficits don't matter. Yeah, and the Constitution doesn't matter to them either. It's a goddamn piece of paper. So, um, and the and the and the and the Treasury bonds uh, uh, that uh, 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 Social Security is invested in are in some are worthless pieces of paper in some filing cabinet. Dick Cheney, the, the guy that has a mechanical heart and uh, and shot his one of his buddies in the face on a hunting trip, where he was hunting for wild boar that were penned in. Pheasants. They were pheasants. pheasants. Oh yeah, they don't have the guts to or hunt wild boar. Either pheasants or some kind of small bird. Small birds that they put there, yeah, like he, when they stop the trout. You know. Uh, yeah. Not like the duck dynasty who go out and get their ducks. Oh, those are real men. Yeah. No, no, they were no the uh, the 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 people of Washington hunt in uh, in in fenced. They hunt for fenced in game. Big deal. That's like shooting a a, a, a grizzly bear, a Kodiak bear from a helicopter with, with a rifle. A wolf. Or a wolf. Like you know? uh, Palin would have you do. What, yeah. what are the, what's that old saying about what is this shit? Shoot, shooting fish in a barrel? Yeah. Or something like that. Big deal. Yeah. Real, real, real courage, these conservatives. Okay, next. Companies are now talking to governors in the Midwest because they're trying to sell, or they want to sell the water in the Great Lakes. Now this goes back to people like the CEO of Nestle, G.W. Bush's plan with the CEO of Nestle, uh, and what T. Boone Pickens admitted he was trying to do is to buy up and control all of the aquifers, the world's drinking water supply, so they have total control over the food and water, which, which means they have total control over mankind on this planet. Privatization. Corporations. The corporate plutocracy, yes. So that's what's going on now. Well, that's what's going on when, like, places like Detroit and uh, Columbia, South Carolina, and all these other places that are in problems. Camden, Trenton, uh, they, the private uh, firms and stuff, they want to buy up all of the commons, the things that we own. They want to buy mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, take it away from us. That's right. Now, speaking of Detroit, you know, uh, there are packs of, uh, of uh, abandoned or and or feral domesticated dogs. Once domesticated. Once domesticated. Now they're running wild. Have, they're running wild, forming packs and attacking people. Now, to all you animal lovers who p post their pets on their photos of their pets dressed in human clothes and baby clothes on Facebook, and and treat them like children and say oh you oh my little baby my adorable little baby let me tell you something if if they got hungry enough 
<laughs> forget about the, all the loyalty and love your little baby gives you. They will make dinner out of your two, mm. two gluteus maximuses, your ass. Mm. They'll bite your ass off. They'll form packs and they'll attack you. So an animal is an animal. I, I watched uh, Mario Petrus posted a video from YouTube on uh, the uh, the group uh, about nothing uh, of a man being uh, mauled and and I guess the lion was trying to eat him. I guess the guy lost so much blood and, and he you know this was in like a zoo. The guy lost so much blood he must have he's passed out or went into shock or something because his torso was twitching Wait. and the lion was ready to. Eat him. Devour him. He was he pull, they, they were trying to pry them apart, and the lion won't let go. So the lion dragged the guy by the shoulders, and I guess they're very strong. And uh, I saw his torso twitching, and they finally shot. I don't know what took them so long. They finally shot the lion in the head a few times. It took a few handgun bullets to put the lion down. And they, they, the guys, uh, they took him out of the cage. His heart had stopped, so they, they did CPR. And it took a while, but they finally got his heart going, and they saved him. But he had tooth holes from the teeth in his legs and everything, and he lost a lot of blood. Now, um, you know, um, these animals are wild. They might show you affection at first, you know, because you are... You are the source. Well, not literally. You 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 feed them. You feed them, and then eventually, they're gonna look at. They're gonna eat the food that you feed them, and then they're gonna look at you. And they're gonna have the tooth. Must be a horrible thing, though, like that that woman jogger that became the lunch of an alligator. It must be a horrible thing to become the lunch of a wild animal. Oh, in Florida. Anywhere. What what is she doing? What, what is she doing jogging alongside of a fresh water, uh, a body of fresh water in Florida? You don't do that. I have no idea, but uh, because they 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 uh, hey they eat. They're not even safe in Central Park. What did they find in Central Park? Got the woman got um, assaulted or raped the other day uh, running in the Central Park. I mean two-legged animals. Yeah, two-legged animals. Yeah, well, we have coyotes uh, next town over in Saddlebrook. Hey, but isn't New York safer because they profile? Stop yeah, well, and frisk. Yeah, what happened with stop and frisk? I thought it was safer. Hmm. Well, if Bill de Blasio wins the election as mayor, as future mayor of New York, I hope he doesn't go soft on crime like David Dinkins did. He, he had a hands-off well, policy. Blasio is married to a black woman, has black children. Which which means he'll probably have a hand-off policy with them, and then all the squeegee, all the squeegee bums and aggressive panhandlers will come back on the street the again. Other, the other one, Thompson, wants to do away with stopping first. I want to do away with all undesirables in the, in America. Period. Oh! Well, you'd have to start with Washington now, wouldn't you? That's what I was getting at. Uh -huh. You got to start with leadership. You know, cut off the snake's head. Right. Yeah. If you have a, a poisonous, if you have a king cobra, and you want to disfuse him or her, you got to cut off the head. You know, like they did with Medusa, the gorgon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, millions have died from um, Agent Orange mm -hmm. through its resulting illness, cancer, and other things. Very unfortunate. The, uh, the the South Korean government is uh, it doesn't look it doesn't help the people that are already dead or sick, but the South Korean government is slapping Monsanto and Dow with a hefty fine. Uh, but like I said, that doesn't undo. How many years the, late? That doesn't undo. What about Vietnam? Right. That doesn't undo the damage. And I and and I and there's a there's a banner on Holistic Health Talk that I posted showing these poor Korean children that have deformities and that are sick from, you know, chemicals like yeah, this. And what about our soldiers who came back? <coughs> exactly. It's the same thing. Now, um, Monsanto and Dow deny responsibility 
of course, and the U.S. government denies this tragedy and covers it up. Well, it covered up in the beginning. It never happened. There was no such thing. It happened. It happened. Right. So that's what they do all the time. So this is it. They deny it. They deny responsibility, which means they don't care about the victims. And then they make it hard, hard, or so that you can't sue them. Yeah, they don't yeah. see it's profit over people on the planet. That's yeah. what I tell these tea baggers online. It don't you understand? There's no jobs out there. All these demand occupations that you see advertisements late at night from tech schools. The, the jobs are not in demand. The jobs are not out there because they love. And the jobs that are lost are not coming back. Yeah, they love to tell the unemployed and the poor to call them lazy bums. Hey, go get a job. Go get a Psalm job. Psalm 10, they, verse two. They love to Psalm say that. Psalm 10, verse nine. <clears throat> the rich have the poor in their sight. Right, okay. and, and they also, the tea baggers, they, they're too stupid to realize what, what the agenda is of the conservatives, conservative elitists. They don't see it or they don't want to accept it. You know what they'll do? They'll call you and me and Jesse Ventura conspiracy nuts, mm -hmm. conspiracy theory nuts. That's yeah, what they also us. call Social Security an entitlement that is a part of the uh, 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 social welfare system. They don't get it that Social Security is its own tax and has nothing to do with the deficit. So there's old Paul Ryan over there wanting to get rid of Social Security. Because they, These people are stupid. Because they're either very stupid and stupid people elect them. Or they just hate the poor and they want to see well, them. Well, they hate the poor. That's and they want to see them die. Yeah. You know. But they are stupid. Yeah. And nobody calls them out. You'll notice. Either it's Fox or it's, 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 it's MSNBC, but they don't call them out. Even the so-called progressive yeah. MSNBC and partially progressive CNN they don't call them out. Nobody is exposing the real truth on any media on television, mm -hmm. on any cable station. Certainly not the major networks. Nobody is calling them out at all. Yeah. Not even not even Ed Schultz. Has he? Or not really? Well, he's called, yeah, he's, he's explained uh, Social Security to uh, people, but the point of it is, they're not listening to Ed Schultz. No, because the lunatics keep on watching Fox. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, it, they're like robots. It's like, uh, unions, unions are bad. Right. The, the poor are lazy. Uh, oh, speaking of the poor, let me get this in here. Columbia, South Carolina. Religious Are nut. chasing the poor out of downtown. Get out! They want to make homelessness uh, of Crime. Vagrants, right? They want to call it vagrants? Yeah, because they don't want it interfering with tourism and etc. It doesn't look good. There's, they only got, uptown, they got uh, 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 240 bed shelter. They got like 1,500 homeless. So where the hell are they going to go? Why, don't, why doesn't the governor of South Carolina because he's a stupid one of them teeth. Why does it why does it instead of instead of arresting and putting the blame on the homeless and the poor, find out why you have all this homeless and poor to begin with? <laughs> and solve the the root of the oh, problem. No, 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 I don't want to solve the problem. Just make it a crime. So they want to they want to have an excuse to throw them in jail. So they want to sweep the the poor and the homeless under the rug, arrest them so they get they have free slave labor. In privatized prisons, yeah, in, in South, Car South Carolina. South Carolina, isn't that where the kudzu, the the, the, the holy kudzu is, or is that North Carolina? I would assume South, because South nope. Carolina is more nuts. Yeah, than they, North they, Carolina. they found that. Although North Carolina is kind of nuts too. They found the common weed in the shape of a of cross. a cross, and everybody started praying to it. Ooh. Like they thought it was uh, God that made the, it's idolatry, the weeds. Yeah. It's idolatry. When you worship hey, something. I saw a photo of a, of a carrot with two carrots that grew together that looked like <laughs> two, pe two human beings hugging. Oh, I mean, anything 
because of the freakishness of nature. Anything Remember the could, tree in New Jersey here where they had the Madonna? The tree stump, the, uh, uh, the smudge on the attic window looked like the Virgin Mary. Look, <laughs> a cloud. Listen, you see it all the time in, in vegetables, you know, in the way the veggies and fruits grow. They can look like anything. Anything can look like anything. It's not don't read into it. It's not that, that God is sending you a message because a peach looks like something. What about besides when, a peach? What about when some sort of vegetables or something look like genitalia? That happens all the time. <laughs> that picture of the you see the photo of the potato that looked like two balls and a cock? Yes, that's that's what I mean. So what does that mean? That I mean that means if you eat it you're going to have uh, be built like John Holmes? The late John Holmes or something? You got what does that mean? has power. You know, if you're built like John Holmes, you can only get half of it in. And some, what the hell is that? Some women might use that potato as a dildo. They might spray it and preserve it or something. Eh. Alright, here goes. The United States and the United Kingdom, but I believe the United Kingdom might have backed down from this, but the U.S. definitely intends to strike Syria with Tomahawk missiles. Now, It just so happens, because of this announcement, the share price of Raytheon, the company that oh, makes the missiles, the company that makes the missiles soars to record highs. Exactly. Ain't capitalism grand. Exactly. Hey, here's the point. We can always find money for war, but we can't find it for food and education. Nope. Okay? There's always there's always funding for war, but there's no funding, there's no budget for anything positive or anything that helps the masses, poor people, you know, uh, help. That's interesting. What a coincidence. Raytheon, the company that makes the Tomahawk missiles, share prices well, you know why? skyrocket. Because this is this is the whole thing of like with Vietnam, Korea, and yeah. etc. Uh, Iraq. These wars, they're rackets. One of the one of the things that they do is use up all the old weapons, so they can make new ones and make more money. And that makes more money for the five private contractors. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Yeah. Okay, we have two more, and the two more are very. The two last ones are very related. McDonald's grosses ten billion dollars per year. All right. U.S. taxpayers 